Hi, Mr. P here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're revising the fantastic Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie for exams or term papers, then this series of micro videos may be helpful uh, in exploring and revising key symbolism and motifs, along with the key quotations that perhaps you should try and learn so that you can totally ace your English. As ever, if you like what you see, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any questions at all or suggestions for other videos, then stick them in the comments below. Just to revise very briefly what symbolism is, it's where an object, a person, a situation or an action suggests or represents other meanings beyond the literal. In the novel, the colour red is kind of important. Um, first of all, in nature, the more typical red hibiscus symbolises love and passion. In the novel, red is often used to symbolise uh, violence. Red also symbolises the anger the characters have within them due to their lack of freedom. Red, of course, is also the colour of blood, which features uh, several times in the novel, as you know. And red sometimes foreshadows future violence in the novel, as you will see. So let's look at some quotes then. The black type blurred, the letters swimming into one another and then changed to a bright red, the red of fresh blood. In this quote, Cambele is haunted by the blood she saw after an act of domestic uh, violence from Papa. The red blood here symbolizes the violence that Papa commits, but perhaps also how it will cause trauma for Cambele in later life. The only change was Mama's belly. It started to bulge. It had elevated her red and gold embroidered church wrapper. The altar was decorated in the same shade of red as Mama's wrapper. Red was the colour of Pentecost. Well, in Christianity, certain colours are used to represent particular feasts or seasons. Red symbolises both blood and fire. It is the colour that is used on Palm Sunday and Pentecost Sunday. It is also the colour that is associated with martyrs, those who have shed their blood for their faith. So when we see that Mama's red and gold wrapper is the same shade of red as the altar cloth, Adichie might be suggesting that Mama is a kind of martyr for the way that she puts up with the violence of Papa for the sake of her family. It might also foreshadow the blood that she will shed when she has the miscarriage after one of Papa's beatings. Papa was wearing his wine red pyjamas that lent a slightly red shimmer to his eyes. And this foreshadows, I think, the anger at discovering uh, the painting of Papa Anukru. Red here symbolises the threat of violence. Cambele has learnt to read Papa's mood by looking at his eyes. There's blood on the floor, Jaja said. I'll get the brush from the bathroom. We cleaned up the trickle of blood, which trailed away as if someone had carried a leaking jar of red watercolour all the way downstairs. Well, here Adichie uses the simile, as if someone had carried a leaking jar of red watercolour, to vividly portray Mama's miscarriage. The fact that Jaja and Kambili, two teenagers, have to clean it up is both shocking but also illustrates how Papa's violence towards Mama has a direct impact on the children themselves. And obviously it makes us as readers feel uh, empathy for them. I still saw the print in my textbooks as a fresh blur. Still saw my baby brother's spirit strung together with narrow rows of blood. Well, this is very similar to the first quote. The red blood here symbolizes the violence that Papa commits but perhaps also how it will cause trauma for Cambele in later life. Okay, well, hopefully that's been useful. If you want more help with revising Purple Hibiscus, I've made a whole bunch of other videos, so please do check them out. And if you want to get new content to help you ace your English, then hit up that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos when they come out. Have a good day, everyone. Hopefully that's been useful, and I'll see you next time on the channel. All the best now. Bye.